Let's learn practically about adaptive layout container. The theory section I have already covered in my previous videos. The video link for that uh, is available in the video description. And by end of this video, you will understand what is adaptive layout container, how to implement it, and what all different options available with adaptive layout container. So let's create an application uh, first uh, for adaptive layout container. So I'm not selecting any other templates, just a blank template, just to understand means how it uh, look. Uh, yes, we can create uh, adaptive layout container. So once we have this, uh, so adaptive layout container is one of the new uh, feature available with the Limira designer. Uh, so which we will find it uh, in the component section of uh, con uh, container component. So just select this adaptive layout container and uh, just add it here. Uh, so once you have this uh, in this, so let's before that let's create a uh, data source as well uh, just to make sure that means we have some data to show state and city wise let's say means it's revenue so once we have this um, adaptive layout container added and in the applications it is having uh, all the size and all those things which is uh, given me so basically adaptive layout container are used when we wanted to uh, view our applications in various uh, devices like desktop mobile devices tablets etc so based on the requirement we need to make sure that these uh, applications what we are creating are uh, viewable in um, mobile applications or maybe uh, other tablet devices as well so so that purpose we use this adaptive uh, layout container so now once we have this adaptive layout container you will see uh, they are having 12 columns available and in that means we can create separate separate blocks so create block uh, if you right click on that and uh, we can just make it as so for now uh, there is another size of viewport viewport is uh, something which is shows uh, how much visible area uh, for that particular uh, applications on the mobile uh, devices so we can give some columns uh, small columns uh, call span medium call uh, span large call span. so there are different sizes as well for this like uh, small medium large and extra large so what is this so this is depending upon the devices so in which device you wanted to view our uh, application so if it is something on desktop then it would be a large uh, size and uh, the size description size has given me uh, in my previous video uh, so you can check that as well once we have this block then we can just create some of the applications so suppose uh, i wanted to have one chart here in this block so you can just drag the chart here And one uh, we can assign uh, the data source uh, what we have uh, created. Uh, let me get the columns as well. So I'm just dragging the. Uh, so, so this is one column uh, in block in this block there is one um, uh, chart which is I have just added and if I run this then you will see this is how it is uh, showing up like this in our uh, desktop so this is this is not actually means uh, we can uh, see in uh, our uh, mobile applications or something which when we wanted to con configure that that we can do it the, let's create an another block uh, so you will understand in uh, mobile applications we we are not having a complete screen but block block by by so first first block will show like this second block will show like this so in this as well suppose i am adding one cross tab So 
So I am assigning in the same data source. Suppose this is this is depending upon the requirement and what what we wanted to show on the uh, first column, second column, and maybe uh, the other column will show something which uh, maybe is scorecard. So when we when we run this, uh, you will see uh, this is one by one. It is shown up on the block one and block two. So like this, but. Uh, in in the mobile applications when we view this we will show uh, show like this and uh, based on the sizes which we wanted to configure we can do that and uh, this view foot is a viewable uh, area on the um, on the mobile applications or on other devices so based on this suppose i am checking this as small then uh, if i run this uh, for now it will not show any difference but when we view this applications on mobile then it will show up like uh, the differences in uh, viewing the applications so like this uh, so there are other things about this is column uh, span when we uh, give this uh, you will see there are uh, for these blocks we have column span uh, mentioned some uh, uh, So this blocks will have this column span where which we can specify based on our requirement. So for mobile devices, uh, what could be the size and uh, that that has been specified uh, in in the tutorials. And then based on that means uh, de device sizes, we can specify this uh, column span, uh, small column span, uh, medium column span, and all those things, large things. Uh, so so these are the various things which we can do uh, with this mo uh, adaptive layout container when we have um, like device types based on that device type also we can generate some script uh, so suppose on this uh, uh, blocks so when we uh, when we click on this uh, you will see uh, this uh, suppose this is a graph then we can write some script as well on this and which will check uh, check the uh, so in script we can we can actually check the device type and based on the device type we can uh, like there is uh, let's say i uh, application so get user agent is one thing which is uh, uh, which will check uh, what is um, what is the device type suppose this is iphone then we can uh, just uh, uh, check iphone uh, device type and then write some code uh, in this uh, but uh, this is what uh, there are many things which we can do miss i will take in a separate example for the scripting as well uh, which will show how to check uh, the user's uh, device type and then how we can decide means which are um, how how to display the contents of that particular app applications on the devices uh, so this is what we can do it uh, then we can just do some personalization as well based on the requirement and uh, yeah. that's it from this video i hope you have understood this adaptive layout container if you have any questions then please put it in comment section and if you like my video then please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching